go for ice cream right about now. Ooh. That'd be good. So did you ever find out what a Sonic Route 44 slush no. is? Well, okay. I haven't been there yet. Since okay. we had this discussion. Yeah, it's yeah. a really big drink uh -huh. that you can get a cherry limeade or a slush or what. But go. you knew what that 44 was. 44 ounces, right? right? Yeah, 44 yeah. ounces. I guess maybe perfect. It'll be one. perfect for you. I'm going to bring you one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everyone's going to want one this afternoon, tell you that much. The heat going to be out there again. You need to be staying hydrated. And one thing we'll have to watch are the electric uh, yeah. grids as we get into the oh, afternoon yeah. and into the evening. Because as we continue with all of this heat, we're continuing to tax the grid. That means we're using a lot more. And today's going to be another day where we use a lot. Let me show you what it's shaping out to look like. Because we're going to have to monitor things this afternoon. We have your capacity, your demand. Remember, capacity is how much we produce. And in Texas, that's not only gas and oil and nuclear and coal, but also wind and solar. And then that goes to your demand, which is how much we use. So you always want to have more capacity than you do your demand. But this afternoon and into this evening, ERCOT is forecasting that we will end up using more than we can produce. And a lot of that is because this year, wind and solar have really been helping us out. But once you get past around 6, 7 o'clock, that sun angle changes, and so we'll be producing less solar energy. So the grid may get taxed pretty good this evening, and we'll need to try to curb usage if we can. So if you can raise that thermometer up, maybe a degree or two before you head off to work, it could make a difference here with our grid this afternoon. 78 by in Hillsborough right now, 80 degrees in Waco, 83 in Colleen, 81 in Temple. You're looking outside now on the Syntex Roof Systems camera at the 25 News Studio. Very warm day on the way again today. That heat advisory is in effect for San Saba County. The rest of us under this excessive heat warning highs up towards 105 or higher feel likes higher than 110. That includes more than just us, a large part of the state. That's why the grid gets taxed. 107 this afternoon, feeling like 110, another hot one. There is a small chance, though, we see a little isolated shower down towards the Brazos Valley. Unfortunately, not everyone going to see that. Future Track does show you that small chance. Also could exist on Friday. I think we get a better chance as a cold front comes in with high pressure backing off to the west, and that will happen Tuesday of next week, or Monday rather. You won't feel the effects of it till Tuesday, but look what Tuesday brings. 99 for a high, guys. That'll be nice.